Something is wrong with my lantern. Give me a minute. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. It's nothing, Holmes. I'll join you in a minute. Deja vu, and not in a pleasant way.
And now, axes? What's on earth for? glowing but why Is that glow again? That was all. I can't take it anymore. At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? 
How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Oh, heavens. Is that Arneson? Why didn't you mention him? Stay put. I must check if he is alive. The unknown, beckoning, great one, lightning! I should examine him before he has another seizure. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. Cold sweat. Two, no, three ribs fractured. Severed fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Pulse is racing, 110 beats a minute. Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get him to the boat in a state like that is dangerous to us and him. <laughs> Please tell me there are no eels inside, Arneson. <laughs> Pokeweed berries, though they appear harmless, the whole plant is lethal. Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. Pharmacopoeia. Listing drugs, effects, and directions for use. Some kind of Amanita mushroom. Extremely poisonous. This is Dwale, induces sleep and relaxation. A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears burnt, judging by the color.
<laughs> Salvia divinora provokes visual hallucinations. <laughs> Hard to tell what it says. I just need a second, John. I wonder what this language is. <laughs> the nightmares these poor souls had to endure. I can't decipher that text. <laughs> the 
the walls are spinning. Let me catch my breath. This should help soothe honesty. <laughs> I need some fresh air. Yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat? There. That seems to have calmed Arneson enough to be carried. We'll follow you out. Without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear me man from my flesh, scorn me festering soul. Phantoms of nothing, we are born to die. Filled in the eyes of our eldritch lord. Free my festering soul and let me feel. Oh, please, I wish to return. Free me, let me return. Free me and rejoice. Eyes without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear my mind from my flesh. Holmes, are you all right? Here, let me help. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock? What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you. I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Bon Dieu! Still among the living! We are, though not for lack of trying by the Sheriff. Well... He'd been telling people you died in the swamp, despite his trying to save you. <laughs> Crooked man. Through and through. Wait. Is that Mr. Arneson? Yes, but he's not well. Do you know Lucy? Belle from the Nymph? That I do. Please bring her here. Mr. Arneson needs to see a familiar face if he's to have any chance of surviving. Ah. Oh, power of the heart. I get you. Wait here. Errol? Oh, Errol! Reckon we should give him space. Farewells are painful. No, 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 tell me that's not true! Watson? Mr. Arneson has endured a lot. Lost four fingers, a lot of blood, and some of his sanity. But with rest and tender care, he ought to survive those injuries, both physical and mental. <sighs> Thank you, Johnny. I'll take care of him. Thank you for bringing him home to me. We'll be all right. Are you quite certain? Do you have the space? The resources? I will stay with him at the mansion. It is not a burden to take care of your love. His property is in quite a state. It may not be the best place for recuperation. Hush now. Champagne will see it sorted. Then it's settled. Hear that, Errol? Us living under one roof. 
Careful what you wish for. Oh, and Champagne? I'm about sick of watching that sheriff run riot through New Orleans. We ought to talk. Funny. I was just thinking that Grub did nothing to save your man. Together, I reckon you, me, and Arrow have the sway to make some changes around here. I like the sound of that. Holmes, our boat. Oh, we must make haste. Farewell all. Take care. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock, a man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? <laughs> your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear. As rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You, and the rest of your corpulent cronies. Ha! Corpulent, that was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? 